You may all be wondering, Halloween, what is this? And it's Rogue Legacy. As far as I know, that's about all I know about it, really. I tried it about 10 minutes around a friend's house, and in that time, I realised that it was both quality and absolutely fantastically good fun and really hard all at the same time. So I thought it'd be great to have a video on it. It's basically what seems to be a mixture of Super Metroid, Castlevania, um, a roguelike, and Dark Souls all in one, which is brilliant to me. So I thought we'd give it a quick whirl, and you can see, sort of go through the first bits of it, really. Um, before we continue though, I just want to say a quick happy birthday to a friend of mine. Uh, it's Lisa, that's whochick 7 on YouTube, for anyone who wonders, and uh, it's her 30th today, so have a great day, hope you enjoy, and uh, hope you enjoy the video as well. So, let's get cracking. Right then, um, I literally just picked this up, so I'm gonna, get, of course, ruin all the scenery and get all the money I can. From what I gather, it's the kind of game where you die a lot, and you come back, you try again with new stats and keep going, and I love this kind of thing. Ooh, let's not get mauled by this man. But like I said, I, it wasn't really on my radar, this thing. I just, uh, you know, kind of logged into Steam one day and there was a game called Rogue Legacy. I didn't really pay any attention until a friend of mine just went, here, play this. I played it. And like I said, I played for about five minutes and in that five minutes, I was completely convinced this was an absolutely brilliant game. So let's have a bit of a wonder, shall we? Ooh. And I think the main achievement is you don't level up as such. I think you gain money through doing bits in the castle. And when you die, well, you'll see, shall we say, you have someone else continue what you were doing, more or less. All right, there we go. This is more or less a tutorial. Oh, hey, king, man. Ugh. Ooh, so I can start my legacy now. Excellent. And this, this is my actual bloke, I think. There we go, level zero, zero money, 10 MP. So I can shoot, I don't know, shoot daggers out of my dick. Sounds rather painful, but whatever. And it builds a brand new castle each time. It, again, very much reminds me of something like the Binding of Isaac in that sense, where you've got completely different things each time. Oh, hello. General Entry 1, treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the Cursed Woods and enter Castle Hampson. The cursed castle is still on the edge of woods since time immemorial, but rumours say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight I will get a head start on my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail would be an embarrassment to my name. Which is probably going to be an embarrassment to- oh my god. Okay, um, oh Jesus, go, ugh, okay, bad, that was a bad start, bad start. Okay, let's hopefully not get any more horrible- oh god there's an evil painting. Okay, I got it, it's cool. Nasty skeletons. They throw just like the Castlevania ones do. It's probably intentional. Like I said, as far as I gather, it's different each time. So, oh dear, it's a very angry man here. Lucky I've chopped him. I think the general gist of it is to see how far you can get each time, and I will certainly try my best. Though no promises, because <laughs> I will probably get mauled. Though it looks like enemies don't respawn, which is useful. Nah, not today, evil. Whatever you are. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. I've got one more hit left. I really do take quite a lot of damage. Okay. 120 gold, but I think we're doing okay. Ah! Oh, that's not good. So Lee has been slain by a ch charite. It's sure to expand your mana. Okay. I guess I'll move on. That didn't really go well. And now, yeah, I get to choose my offspring, which is the most hilarious bit I've ever seen. So, Sir so Glorba the mage. He's a mage. He, he's nostalgic and misses the good old days. And I have a new spell. Uh, okay. Lady Teresa. That's a nice beard you've got there, Lady Teresa. Mage, every kill gives me mana. I can fire a dagger out of my... Well, not penis this time. And Sir Jimmy the Barbarian. He's so heavy, enemies can't knock you back. The, see, Sir Jimmy seems quite a good thing to have, so let's go with Sir Jimmy. Good job, Sir Jimmy. I can get a smithy. Ooh. The blacksmiths can build the finest equipment in the world. Okay. Give him blueprint to give you more stuff. Oh, I can go with that. Okay. And I can give myself more health. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Ooh, I've run out of gold now, so I guess that's where we go. Ah, hello, Mr. Blacksmith. Welcome, hero. Maybe you can help me. You used to be the greatest blacksmith of the lands, blah, blah, blah. Without these blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. <laughs> okay. Bring back any blueprints. You can build stuff. At a price. Oh, but of course. Which I assume I can get nothing so far. 
200 gold. Square, square helm, square sword. Okay, cool. <laughs> You're quite outrageously. I'm quite sluggish, I this one, I think. Sharon, really? That's not a boat, Sharon. Whatever. Give Sharon all of your money. Alright. Man, what a dick. Guess we get a new castle this time, then. Alright, let's give us a whirl. I'm ready. First room alone, I get stuff. Oh. Oh, I didn't do, I didn't do so much damage as my first guy. That's not good. Let's go this way then. MP. Gold. That's good, I can... Okay. Ah! Oh god, this is hard. Ugh! This is a bad idea. Okay. I don't need that now, I need... Ooh, I found a teleporter. So I can teleport between the two rooms, okay. You're now entering the- oh dear. This seems like perhaps a harder place than I should be at. Level 33? This seems like a bad plan. Nah, yeah, whatever. We can risk it. Bray. Oh, cannons. Uh, maybe not. Oh, well let's, let's try it the other way, in case this gets me brutally murdered somehow. Wee! Oh, okay. Wait. Did I just teleport back to the same place? No, surely I didn't. No. Yeah, I did. Oh. I didn't know you could teleport to the same place. That's odd. Okay. Right, back at the beginning. Makes sense. Let's try a different route that doesn't get me for a room of full of spikes. Oh, I see that. Oh, oh. That block stuff. I think I got the hang of this now. Oh. <laughs> he says getting horribly murdered. Pardon me, sirs. Let's see if I can... Oh, yes. Food. Food always gives you... Wall chicken is probably the best thing to get. Oh, no fair. Got 25 health. Ooh. Seems like a bit harsh. Ooh. These enemies don't take much repeating, at least. Oh, no way. Not going through there. That's suicide. Especially my health. Probably mess up. Need some more wall chicken! I've got quite a lot of gold this time. Doing well. Oh, great. Evil paintings. Is there anything in this castle that is not evil? Be a good start. Oh, <laughs> There, yep, there we go. Alright. Okay. Right. Okay. Ooh, wow. Ah, oh, No, my... Sir Jimmy! No, Sir Jimmy! Oh, never mind. Um, luckily, Sir Jimmy left us, sir. Uh, well, quite a lot of money, which was very nice of him, really. So, Lady Winry, the barbarian, who's colorblind, who, but she's very flexible, that's useful. Sir Skunky is also a barbarian. Um, they have a lot of children, these guys. I, I like this, by the way, it shows you how many, t like, the different knights and people you used and died. Okay. Um, Scythes, that's quite cool. Also Scythes. Dagger. Endomorph, you're so heavy, no peripheral vision, a standard hero. Let's let's go something a bit different. Should we have Lady Teresa? Yeah, colorblind Lady Teresa. Now, what's this do? Upgrade knights into paladins. I can give myself more gold, more health. That seems like a good idea to me. Let's see if I can buy a weapon. Oh god, colorblind, right. I can't, all in black and white. Can I buy anything? Squire sword. Hmm. Additional properties. Extra weight, but extra defense. What about this? More damage. Yeah, let's do that then. Well, that's why I got equipped now, yeah? Okay, cool. That makes sense. Alright. Might be colorblind, but. I don't know. Oh, I lose all the rest of my money. That's fine. 
Do I keep my teleporter? Can I still? No. I guess you gotta not dive then. Being colorblind is a bit of a hazard, really. I can't see what color the en enemies are. Luckily, the lady does more damage than the uh, man did, which is very helpful. Especially in the, the whole terms of murdering things. Oh! Oh, I'm getting the hang of this, I think. Yes! I'm like some sort of sword wielding master! Come at me, evil foes. Beat you all down. It's a very odd game. I'll give them that. I love the fact that the, the traits is a really cool. Ooh, get your treasure chest. The traits is really cool. I like that a lot. Like having different traits, like the fact the color blind, for example, or oh, oh, extra heavy or extra light. I think it's a really nice touch. Ooh, oh, look at all that stuff. And cool, and leaving your gold to your like heirs is really cool as well. <laughs> okay, that's all that's in here. Seems easy enough. Okay. Castlevania style, getting chicken and like money from all the chandeliers is very cool. Ooh, oh my god. Ow. Okay. Ah, teleporter. Right. The forest. Seems a bit sinister. Headless horse. Whoa, they do way more. I think this is more risky, but uh Certainly more profitable. I should be using my special skills more. I feel this would be a benefit to me. Mr. Bones. No wild ride for you today, Mr. Bones. Oh, crap. Oh my god, I'm getting ruined. This is probably not the place to be. I need to stay on the move, really. Floating rocks and is that Santa in the back? Damn it, Santa Claus! What the hell are you doing here? Try and not die. Evil fountains. Tall guards. I got no mana. Great. It's all right. I got this. Okay, I haven't got this. Ah! That was obviously bad. I'm I'm sorry, Lady Winry. Purchasing equipment is cheaper and more flexible than raising your base stats. Well, I bought you a sword, Lady Winry, and I, I don't think it helped you. I'm also not doing very well. Alright, what we got? We got Lady Priscilla the Mage. You got two left hands and can't pass. Okay, so I got a mage who can't cast spells very well. I've got... I got Sotako the Dwarf, who's insane, and I can never ride roller coasters. And, and Lady Antoinette is just does no traits, really. Well, I think we should have a dwarf going. Yeah. Sir Taco. Okay. And we had quite a bit of gold, so I can increase health or mana. Okay. I think that's probably a good spending there. There we go. So any knights I get in our paladins. We should increase that. And get some more health. Okay. There we go. We've got no money now at all. Just. Oh, look. Oh, isn't Sir Taco cute? Good job, Sir Taco. Have I got to re equip my stuff again, or. No, I, I come equipped with it. Excellent. Alright, back into the castle we go. Nope, got no money for you this time, sucker. Yeah, no laughing at me. I have, I have smarted him. <laughs> Look how small he is. I think this will be a benefit. Am I? No, still entry one. Because I assume I haven't actually got anywhere useful yet. Oh, come on, really? That's mean. De dead end? Okay, so where are we going now? Let's go. In case anyone was wondering, I was going to record Dead Space tonight, but I thought this would just be far more interesting. Yeah, so, so there. Oh, really? Oh, I haven't got much health on this one. Oh dear. Ooh, money, 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 money. Dodge that. Eat chicken. Get health back. Yes, right. I think I need to stay in the castle style area for a bit though, till I get some uh, 
better skill ups, I think. Otherwise, we ain't gonna get too far. Oh dear. 